Hey guys, this is a never ending reader. I'm Brittany and welcome to my October book haul. I have a lot of books to get through here. I think it's like over 50, so I'm going to be super quick with synopsises if I even know them at all. And let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot to talk about. So first I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the gifts that I received in October. And the first one is this edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It is literally beautiful. My uncle actually pre-ordered this for me and it's just, stunning all the pictures are just I can't get over them they're just incredible so thank you very much to my uncle Rod he is the best and like the biggest supporter of mine and I appreciate him so much and then the rest of these that are gifted are going to be from Chloe because she came to America and stayed with me in October and she actually brought me gifts and I love her so much for it so let's get into those first up Chloe gave me the never-ending story by Michael and obviously this is one of my favorite books as my channel is literally named after this book if you guys don't know, this is a middle grade fantasy, and I'm sure you've probably seen the movie. It's like literally a classic, and the book is even better, so I highly recommend you guys read this. I'm super appreciative of this book. I have like a million editions, and I've never been able to get this one, so thank you so much, Chloe. She also brought me Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I told her that this looked interesting to me, and it's actually about like a girl who finds a journal and it's written by another girl in like revolutionary France and like that's my thing. She knows that I like historical fiction and I showed interest in this book and so she brought it to me and I'm super excited for it. She also brought me this edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. That's two editions this month. Some of you might know that Goblet of Fire is my favorite book out of the Harry Potter series which is like hard for me to say because I really love them all but I feel like Goblet of Fire is just like the most pivotal book in the entire series and she found me this beautiful copy of it. I don't have anything like it and I'm just super excited to have it. She also brought me Spell Slinger by Sebastian D. Castell. She read this recently and literally hated it, I'm pretty sure. Maybe hate is a strong word, but it's sounding like it's right up my alley. I believe it's about a boy. Yeah, and he is going through these four trials to become like a spell caster or something but then he realizes he doesn't have magic. I love fantasy. This is probably going to be a really good read for me and I'm super appreciative of this. And lastly, Chloe left this book at my house because I don't think that she wanted to pack it up and take it home and that is Swift Pure Cry by Saboan Dowd. I don't know anything about it but it says it's something about like a scandal in an Irish community and it's based on a true story which you guys know I really love books that are based on true stories so I actually have a pretty deep interest in reading this so thanks Chloe. Alright moving on to some of the graphic novels that I bought in October I actually read all of these this week actually and the first one is The Prince of Persia apparently this is based on a video game that I've never played or heard of you will hear more about this in my November wrap up. I also found The Prince and the Dressmaker. I was super excited to find this in a thrift store. By the way, all of these books are going to be like a dollar or under. Oh so yeah, I found this at a thrift store. I was like, oh my God, I've been wanting to read this so bad. So this is about a prince and he loves wearing dresses and he meets this dressmaker and she starts making him dresses and he goes out and I don't want to give too much away because it is a graphic novel, so it's short, but just know I really loved it and I will talk about it in my wrap up as well. I also picked up Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. This is an anthology. I believe there was five little stories in here. And they're all like pretty creepy stories. I would say that they're middle grade, except for like one story that was like actually pretty horrifying. But yeah, I definitely read this one and I will talk to you guys about it in my rep. And lastly, I got Friends with Boys. This was a graphic novel about a girl who's been homeschooled her whole life and then she ends up going to a normal high school and she's being haunted. I will give you my thoughts on this in my wrap up. I also found at a thrift store an entire series that I had never heard of, but when I picked it up, I was like, this looks really interesting. So it looks like it's middle grade, and the first one's called Fever Crumb by Philip Reeve. The second one is called A Web of Air, and the third is Scrivener's Moon. So I got all three of these for 75 cents total, I believe. And it says this is about a girl named Fever and she's adopted by this doctor who's a member of the Order of Engineers and she gets sent on this mission to do something. I don't know, it sounded pretty good. It sounded like almost a dystopian, but I'm not entirely sure on that. I love middle grade, so I picked it up and I'm really looking forward to getting to it. I also got a ton of books in the Vampire Academy series. So I got Vampire Academy, Shadows Kiss, Frostbite, 
And then I also got Blood Promise and Spirit Bound, but they do not have a dust jacket. It's fine. All five of these were 25 cents a piece, and I was like, okay, that sounds good to me. So yeah, I think Vampire Academy is probably about like vampires going to school. I don't really know, but I've been itching to read this for a while because I hear really good things. So when I found like the whole series for like 25 cents a piece, I was like, yes, please. I also got a box set of the Crossfire series. I think this ended up costing me $2, and there's four books inside of it I don't know what they are but Chloe was with me when we went and bought them and I think she said that they were like smutty so I was like cool maybe I can use them for like a future smutathon and they came in this like nice little box worst case scenario I will give them to my best friend if I don't like them because she loves smut all right moving on to some new releases that I bought I guess this one isn't a super new release but I got serious moonlight by Jen Bennett if you want to hear more about this go to my October wrap-up I definitely talked about it at length there and I really loved it I also pre-ordered Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. This is an auto buy author for me, so I didn't even literally look up what this was about before I bought it. I was just like, ooh, Leigh Bardugo, yes please. And I'm pretty sure it's like about a girl at Yale who is like in charge of keeping track of Yale's secret societies or something. I don't know. It's definitely going to be in my December TBR. And my last pre-order was The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I am a huge trash can for the Night Circus, and so when I saw Erin was writing another book, I was like, I literally don't care what it's about. I'm buying it right now, so I pre-ordered it like months in advance and it got here. And from the looks of the inside of the dust jacket, it seems like it's kind of like Sean and Maguire series. The first one being Every Harder Doorway. So I think this is about like kids or people like finding their doors into another world. Either way, it's beautiful. Like even naked, it is a stunning book. So yeah, very excited to get to this. This will also be on my December TBR. Moving on to some middle grade books, I got SOS Titanic by Eve Bunting. This is probably just like a really straightforward Titanic story, but I'm like a sucker for Titanic stories, so I was like, yes. I also picked up Omega City by Diana Peterfront. I had never heard of this before, but I believe it's a middle grade book and it's like sci-fi and that's kind of what drew me in because I don't read like a lot of middle grade sci-fi aside from House of the Scorpions, which I really, really love. And this is about like a girl and her dad is searching for some like lost technology from like the Cold War or something. I don't know. It seems pretty good. I also picked up The Mark of Athena. There's no dust jacket on it. It's pretty beat up and gross, but it is one of my favorite books. And I don't own it, so I was like, I can read a dirty beat up copy of this. I've read it before. I'm fine with it. This is part of the Heroes of Olympus series, and I think it was the last Heroes of Olympus book I didn't own, so very excited to have. I also picked up Fable Haven by Brandon Mull. I actually own the second one of this, and I think I used to own the first, and then something happened to it. Like, I either lost it, or somebody took it, or I lent it out and forgot, but... I don't own it anymore and I really wanted to read it and this is actually about like fairy tales that like come to life and it's also middle grade so I was very excited to see this. Alright moving on to some YA. I rehauled Briar Rose by Jane Yolen. I actually unhauled this a while ago and then I was looking at it and I was like wait I think I actually don't want to unhaul this because I didn't realize that this was a true story based on the holocaust and that is something that deeply interests me so I was like I'm gonna take that back. I also picked up Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. It sounded like this was like a YA mermaid who like is gonna be like the queen of the merfolk and I was like yep sounds good. I also picked up Fairy Wars by Herbie Brennan. I have read the inside of this dust jacket like a million times and I still don't know what this is about except that there's a lot of talk about fairies and like demon kings and stuff and I was like that sounds good to me. I really love fairy books. The Cruel Prince was like such a letdown for me so I'm still looking for like my fairy thing and I'm hoping this is going to be it for me. I also grabbed Girl of Nightmares by Kendare Blake. This is the second book. The first one being Anna Dressed in Blood which I haven't read yet but I'm pretty sure that was about a boy who could see ghosts and like he sees a ghost named Anna and something happens with them but this is the second book in the series. I'm hoping to read the first book in that series soon actually because I wanted to like make my way through Kendar Blake's books. I also grabbed Paper Hearts by Meg Wiviet. This is told in verse. It's going to be probably a very quick read and I believe it's based off of a true Holocaust story which I've already said is something that I really like to read about so I'm excited to read this. I also picked up Numbers by Rachel Ward. This is actually about a girl who can like see people's numbers like when they're gonna die so she knows like the exact moment that they're gonna die 
And I think at some point there's like an apocalypse coming or something and like everyone's number is the same in her whole city. So that sounded good to me. And I forgot to mention another middle grade book being Silver by Chris Wooding. I think this was an apocalyptic like plague type of book. I don't know. I like a plague. I like an apocalypse. Sounded good. Moving on to adult books, I got After by Anna Todd. I know everyone laugh at me, but I texted Chloe when I saw this and she really loves it. And we watched the movie together, which I actually liked. And I thought I would pick it up. I know it's problematic. I'll probably hate it, but I really wanted to read it and like annotate it and make fun of it and send it to Chloe because I thought it would be hilarious. I also picked up a few fantasy, the first one being The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I think I saw Super Space Chick talking about this, the Wheel of Time series. I don't know anything about it. There's nothing on the back of the book like saying what it's about. So I'm kind of going into this blind, but I saw that she really liked it. So I picked it up. I also picked up The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Don't know anything about this. I know that it's like a high fantasy and people really love it. The back says, it starts with a great red rift. It starts with death. It starts with betrayal. That's all it says. I'm hoping that it's pretty good. I really love high fantasy, so this should be fine for me. I also grabbed Under the Dome by Stephen King. I collect Stephen King books. I will not get to this one for a very long time because I think it was published pretty recently. Yeah, it was published in 2009 and I'm reading all of his books in publication order and if you know Stephen King then you know he has a lot of books for me to get through so I will not be reading this soon but I'm glad to have it. I also grabbed a few Christmas books, the first one being True Blue Cowboy Christmas, it's just a Christmas romance and then I also picked up Murder Under the Mistletoe by Terry Reid. This one's just like a Christmas murder mystery I think or maybe it's like a DEA narcotics mystery. I don't know. I needed some Christmas materials so I picked them up. My grandpa also got me this Harry Potter spell book. He just like saw it at the store in the checkout line. It's very short but it's got like literally all the spells in there and it's very very cool. So thank you to my grandpa for thinking of me when you found this. I also got The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. I think this is just like a really straightforward romance. I don't know. The blurbs say it's like an epic love story and I was definitely familiar with the cover when I looked at it in the thrift store, so I picked it up. I really need some more romance in my life. Next up, I got The Martian by Andy Weir. This one I think is like a sci-fi and this guy like goes to the moon. I know it's a movie. I haven't seen the movie, but I know that it has good reviews, the movie and the book, so hopefully I enjoy this. I also grabbed A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. I don't know anything about this. I did read her other book, The Couple Next Door, and I really, really loved it. Which is really weird for me because I'm very, very picky about thrillers. Like, I'm the most picky person about thrillers, so I'm really hoping this one doesn't disappoint. I also picked up The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy. I believe this is about a group of, like, young mothers, and they all have, like, kids around the same age. And at one point, they, like, go somewhere where they're, like, all together, and one of their babies is, like, stolen from a crib. Sounds like a good thriller. I also picked up The Mothers by Britt Bennett. I know absolutely not one thing about this. All I know is that I was really interested in this like years ago, probably like three or four years ago. And I totally forgot what it was about. But when I saw it in the thrift store, I was like, oh yeah, I was really interested in reading that. So I picked it up. Getting to the end of my stack here, I also picked up I Am Malala. A lot of you have probably read this, heard about this. It's pretty old, but I've never read it, so I wanted to. And I think it'll be a good choice for a nonfiction pick. I also picked up Ghost Stories of Illinois. This is an old library copy. I live in Illinois. I like ghost stories. I thought this would be cool for me. I also got a thriller called Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. On the back of this, it says, she vanished, he lied, the past won't stay buried. So I don't really like knowing a lot about thrillers before I go into them, most like every other person on booktube. And my last book is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I found this for a dollar. I know it's like a relatively new release and also a romance. I think it's about two people who get married and they like can't go on their honeymoon for whatever reason. And so they send their like best man and maid of honor to their like honeymoon because they can't get a refund. I don't know. And I, they probably fall in love. I really don't know. So yeah, that is it for October. I feel like I've been sitting down here talking for my entire life. So I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. If you did, please consider subscribing and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.